G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here and today we're gonna to tackle the topic of task management and keeping on top of everything that you need to get done uh, on a specific day or uh, at any given point in time. Now we're going to specifically look at Microsoft To Do and how that integrates in with other applications to help you manage everything that you need to get done. Now we've obviously, you, we're, we're using different applications for different things, so we might be using Outlook Look or OneNote or Planner to plan out our team, um, our, our team tasks. But having a central place to be able to manage all of that is something that is is really important. Not only to save you time, but to know that you've got a central place to go to to uh, access all of uh, those work related items. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the integrations between To Do, Planner. Outlook and OneNote, and how we can create tasks in different locations and use to do as that management UI where we can keep track of everything and uh, make sure that we're on top of everything we need to do. Now, it's not just limited to tasks, though. It could be things that you're um, that you that you need to follow up on, or you need to read later, or things like that that we can um, use Microsoft to do for as well. So let's dive in and have a look. And you can see here that I'm in to do. You might be familiar with this UI if you've been using it. We've We've got my day, we've got a couple of lists here and these are what we call smart lists. So you can see I've got all, I've got completed, assigned to me and flagged emails. Now if I jump up into the settings here, you can actually turn these on or off. So if I scroll down here, I can see here that I've got my smart lists and I can turn these on or off. All right, so if I just turn planned off, jump back into the, the UI here, you can see now that that has disappeared. We've got my default task list here, and this one here is a special type of list, it's a shared list. So here, I've got, a, um, Alex has actually shared a particular list with me. Um, it's not uh, a list for an entire team, it's just where he and I can um, manage our task. We might be working on a, on a specific work uh, item or program or work um, that we need to keep track of. We've shared that, we can now have a list of, of stuff there. So I'll jump back out of here. Now, one, um, uh, I guess one key area that people are needing to follow up on items or add tasks to is from within Outlook. So obviously inside of To Do here, we can have Outlook open, we can have To Do open, we can create an individual task here in To Do. Um, but what is uh, really beneficial from within Outlook is that using one of those smart lists, what we can actually do here in Outlook is right click, follow up, Let's say, um, let's follow up with a custom date. So let's follow up um, on Thursday and we'll okay that. So we can see that that's set the flag there in Outlook. Now, if I jump back into do, you can see here that I've got one here next to flagged email. And you see here, there's that email that I've just flagged. I can click it, I can open it, I can actually open it in Outlook. I've actually got the email, the body of the email in here, but I can also open that in Outlook if I need to. Now, the, there's a concept here in To Do called My Day. So what we can do is, is move any of the tasks in any of these lists or any items in these lists, because they don't have to be tasks, remember? We can move that to My Day. So if I jump back into flagged email, I can right click here and I can go add to My Day. Click on My Day and you can see that I've got three items here. All right, now here, what I might do, I might have completed this task. So let's just mark that as completed. I get a nice little sound there, and that task has now been completed. If I jump back into Outlook, you can see here that I've now got a green tick. So it syncs up with the settings that I've done in Outlook, as, a, as well as from within Microsoft To Do. Now that's on a specific email. Now a lot of people also use tasks or Outlook tasks. So you can see here I've got a number of tasks here already. Um, I've got um, some things that are due today. What I might do now is just add a new task. Let's just go do something and we'll give it a start date and an end date. So we'll start it today. We'll give, them a, give a week to do this. We'll save and close. Okay, so we can now see that I've got that added in Outlook. What we're now gonna do is jump back into uh, To Do and let's have a look and see what happens here. So I'm just gonna jump back into Tasks 
And what we'll see in, in just a second, I might speed this up and let's sync this. You can see now that I've got that task that's come into my default task list here called do something. I can then move that around if I need to. I can add it to my day again, um, and that will then appear in my day. Now the good thing here, again, there's a sync happening. So I might be in Outlook, we saw the sync before when I completed something in to do, it synced back to Outlook. What about the what about the reverse? So I'm gonna mark this as complete. That's now complete. We'll jump back into to do. This is the task in question here. Again, I'll speed up things here and we'll sync it. And what we'll see here is that task in a second will be completed and that will get removed from my task list as well. All right, so there's a two way sync there. Really, really, really beneficial, saves us time. We can do something in one spot and it's gonna reflect exactly the same in the other. So that is from within Outlook, a common place where people add their tasks. Now, if we take a look at to do, I mean, sorry, OneNote, what we can do here, and this might be a feature that you're not familiar with, but we can mark or create, sorry, Outlook tasks from within OneNote as well. So you can see here, I'm in OneNote, I've got a page, I've got some items here on a, on a bulleted list. So I'm gonna highlight this te text. I can go Outlook task, create a custom uh, a custom task here. I get this task um, dialog box from Outlook pop up. We'll give it a start date. We'll give it an end date, a due date, sorry, it's due then. We might set a priority of high and we'll save and close that. So again, what's happening here is it's going to sync. I'm gonna get this uh, inside of, of my task list here. Again, I'm just gonna speed things up. Let's sync this. That will appear on my task list. Click, open. I've got the actual link to that OneNote item as well. So that's really handy for following up. You can see it's set the due date and I can even then add it to my day. All right, now what happens here again is it's going to sync to all three places. So if I now have completed this task, I'm gonna tick this off. I'll jump back into uh, to OneNote. You'll see in uh, once that syncs, this will then be completed. I'll also jump into Outlook. Um, you can see that's just disappeared. That's been completed. And once this syncs into, into OneNote also, this will then be completed. I'll get a green tick here. Um, let's, what I might do is uh, sync this up. I can see there, there it is now. It's now been ticked and marked as complete. So there's this, a, a great functionality there where we're syncing between all three locations. Doesn't matter where, if I'm in Outlook, whether I'm in OneNote, uh, creating tasks, it's all going to end up into to-do and I can manage those items inside of there. Really, really functional, great time saver there. We don't have to switch context and it's all into the one place. Now, the next thing we're gonna take a look at here is shared lists. So inside of um, uh, to do here as well, we've got this concept of shared lists. Now this one here has been shared from, um, from Alex, all right? So you can see here, Alex is the owner and has shared this list with me. I can also add tasks to this list. I can assign um, tasks from this list also. And what that means is the two of us now can manage our own list of tasks, um, which may not be needed for, the, for an entire team, um, but it's just for us. Where this comes in handy is where this um, smart list called assign to you lives. So that one there is a usability uh, testing task that is from that shared Microsoft to-do list. But what we'll also see here is that we've got all of um, a, a number of different tasks that have been assigned to me from within Planner. Okay, so another added benefit here is that I'm also getting a view of anything from Planner that has been assigned to me. I can manage these from within here. I can add it to my day. You can see I've now got um, that inside of my, my day and I can manage that as well through there. So not only can we do our own task management like we saw before from within Outlook, OneNote, or even just a, a normal task list, we can also have this smart list that is now showing me anything that has been assigned to me. And again, um, we can interact with this, we can open it up, 
Um, and what's really good about this is we've got a link to um, the tasks app inside of Microsoft Teams. Okay, so when I click when I click this link, it's going to open up the Teams and I'll just open up the web um, app instead here. What we can see is that it's gonna open up the tasks, um, the, the, the Microsoft Teams interface here, and it's going to take me to that particular location as well. So a really good way there to manage um, all of your tasks, anything that's been assigned to you from a number of different locations. All right, really good, uh, really good um, uh, way to save yourself time. Now, the last thing we're gonna take a look at here is a little bit of an, an extension here. So what, we, what we're gonna do is I'm going to jump into the sales and marketing uh, team site that's living behind the team. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is add the ability on this SharePoint list to actually send one of these items to Microsoft to do. So you can see here, I'm in, my, in Power Automate, I've created a flow called add a Microsoft to do item. You can see it's for a selected item. I'm um, specifically targeting this site and the product list, uh, SharePoint list. I'm, I'm, I'm asking for a custom input here for the title. And then what all I'm gonna do here, you can do a, a lot more obviously, but add a to-do item to my default task list. All right, so from within here, what I can now do is click the three little dots, go to automate, and what we'll see appear here is add a Microsoft to-do item. So when I do that, it's gonna ask me for that extra input that I've had there of title. And what I'm gonna do here is just go game controller follow up. And I'm going to first of all spell that correctly. And then I'm gonna run the flow. So what's gonna happen now, it's already started, it's done. Let's jump back into to do here. And what we'll see appear in just a second, and again, I'll just sync this up, is we're going to have a task that's listed here for game controller follow up. And there we go, click. I can click this now, it's gonna take me directly to that list item as well, all right? So I can add some comments or change some items or do whatever I need to do, but I can then tick that off and I can uh, complete that task, all right? So again, a little bit of extra functionality there and that time we're looking at the integration from within Microsoft Lists to add, um, add a follow-up or add a task to complete there, all right? So I'm gonna leave it there I hope that brought you some value today. So we did see how Microsoft To Do can be that central place or that central location to manage all of your tasks that relate to you. So all of your personal tasks, we saw OneNote and Outlook in play there and how that synchronizes. We also saw Planner, so we can have any of the tasks that have been assigned to you in, in Planner, in any project or any team that you're a member of, you can be assigned tasks in there. They will appear under this smart list called Assigned to You. We also saw the shared lists, so we can have share, the concept of shared lists. I can create a list, I can share it with somebody, and we can manage our tasks there. That's going to appear there. Not only that, these ones will also appear of, uh, under, under this location here if they have been assigned to you. And then you can work move these around. You can add them to my day and you can keep track of what you need to do on that particular day. All right, so there we have it. I really hope that saves you some time, brings you some value. Um, and if you do have any questions, ask away. Um, but uh, I'll see you in the next episode. G'day there, me again. I uh, just wanted to add this little bonus for you, and that is the ability to now uh, create a task from within Microsoft Teams and from a particular post inside Microsoft Teams. So it goes along with everything that you've just seen um, from Outlook and OneNote and Planner. We can now do that from a Teams message too. So let's have a quick look at that. You can see here I'm in the go to market plan. Isaiah has mentioned me uh, to review something. So what I can do, I might not have time right now to do this. So what would be a really good idea is if I can keep track of this so I don't forget. All right, so let's add a, add a task to to do. So we can click the three little dots, more actions, create task. It's gonna pop up with um, a little dialogue box here. I can select the task list 
that I want to um, add this task to. So I'll add this to my own personal list. This is an important one. And let's set a due date of Wednesday. We'll add that task. It's going to run. It's going to create that task. Now, if I jump into to do, we'll jump back into tasks. We can hear now we've got that um, that uh, that post from within Teams added to my task list. It's got the due date. It's got the link to the actual Teams post as well. So I can click this link. It's going to open up Teams. I'll use the web app. It's going to take me directly to that location of that message and I can follow up. All right, great little uh, addition there, uh, creating a task from a Microsoft Teams message. Again, I hope that brings you some, va some value. Thanks for watching. See you next time.